Hi everyone, it's Vanessa. I'm here to share with you the books that I currently have out from the library that I'm considering reading really soon. Some of them you might have seen before, but the majority of these you haven't. I haven't posted in a while and I really refreshed like what was on my TBR cart. I'll tell you first um, what I'm currently reading. The thing that I'm currently reading and really enjoying is Between Two Kingdoms. This is a memoir of a life interrupted by Suleika Jawad. I'm really, really loving this on audiobook. I really haven't looked too much into this book. I've just heard people have really, really loved it so I made it my mission to not really find out that much about it. I just know that the author is facing some kind of like medical quandary and that's all that I've really gotten into in the first hour and a half or so of the audiobook. I really love how this is written. I just read another book that had kind of like a medical focus on it and it, it felt very predictable and simple in the way that it was written especially in comparison to this so I'm really loving that this is what I'm currently reading. Let's talk about all of my non-fictions then. Some of these you have seen before. Let me mention the four you have seen before first. This is In the Shadow of the Mountain, uh, A Memoir of Courage. I actually checked this out on audiobook and I started reading it and I just wasn't in the mood for it. It wasn't really capturing me right away so I'm gonna give this one more chance um, and if not I'll return it to the library but it's still here. Another one is Lost in the Valley of Death and this one has to do with climbing the Himalayas. There's kind of like a mystery that happens there of someone who goes missing. This is one that I really want to read now. I just read a book about Sandy Hook conspiracy theorists and Alex Jones and deplatforming him and defamation suits against him based on what he has done to the families of Sandy Hook victims. And I feel like this would pair really well with that to kind of understand why people believe these things. The last one that you have seen before is Uncanny Valley and this is a memoir from a woman who worked in Silicon Valley and the kind of things that she witnessed when she worked there. I also have Three Girls from Bronzeville, a uniquely American memoir of race, fate, and sisterhood, and it follows three different women. I think some of them are related to each other, following them in the 1970s around that time, so not very modern, seeing how their paths diverge in this neighborhood that they're, that they're from and what opportunities are available to the three women that we are following in this one. And last but not least, this is one that I saw while working one day and I saw the title and I thought, yeah, I should probably pick that up. It's called Trigger Points Inside the Mission to Stop Mass Shootings in America. I'm not sure if this is any good. I haven't really heard any buzz about it or I read like a Kirkus review and that's about it. Um, so I'm going to try to find the audiobook of this and read it as well to see what I think. I think it will pair well with the Sandy Hook book that I just read and then I also read Children Under Fire maybe six months ago. It's one of the ways that I cope with the kind of news that we've been seeing. At some points I also need to like cut myself off and read happier things and that's kind of what the rest of this pile is because I have been telling myself to take a break from the hard stuff that I've been reading and following. I also want to read some stuff that is a little bit more lighthearted to really cheer myself up. I have two books that I hope will do that. One of them is Ophelia After All and this is by Raquel Marie. I know she came from like booktube and I think that's really cool and I've seen some of her tweets online as well and I am hoping to read this too to celebrate Pride Month in June so here it is. And another one that I hope is just a silly rom-com is This Might Get Awkward by Cara McDowell. This is supposed to be really ridiculous and over the top and I hope that I don't think it's too ridiculous. We'll see. And the last YA book that I have is a little bit darker one and it's cold and this is the new book by Mariko Tamaki. I was really excited to hear about this and my audiobook is ready and waiting for me so this is probably one of the next few books that I'm going to read and it follows uh, a girl who was trying to find out more information about something that happened, a murder. And the interesting thing about this book is that we're following those two characters and you're sure so you're following the perspective of the girl but also the boy who was murdered. I have heard that it's a little bit grittier and yeah definitely for like an older YA audience. Some lighter middle grade stuff. The book that I'm going to read next after Between Two Kingdoms is Jennifer Chan is Not Alone and this is the new book by Tay Keller. When I read the what this is about I actually was like oh that's kind of an interesting way to go after When You Trap a Tiger. So basically Jennifer Chan and is in middle school. She believes in aliens and she wants to find out more about them. Then Jennifer goes missing. The adults say she ran away, but where did she go and why? Using clues in Jennifer's journals, this other girl, Mallory, attempts to find her. And the closer she gets, the more Mallory has to confront why Jennifer might have to run. I'm ready to read this one next. I also have The Moon Within, which I've had out for a few months and I, I really need to just read it. I'm, I am really excited about this book and I don't know why I haven't read it. And this is a book in verse about a girl and it's about family and it's also about her getting her period for the first time. And I really loved Ada Salazar's last book that I read, which I read maybe last summer. So this is maybe the next thing I read by her 
the summer. I also have another one that I'm hoping will be good for Pride Month and that's Drew LeClaire Gets a Clue by Katherine Burry. I've heard this is kind of like Nancy Drew-ish. She is trying to keep her family life a secret because her mom ran away basically with someone else and then Aisa really starts posting rumors about other people at the school so then she's just wondering if her secret's gonna get out as well. She's gonna try to figure out who it is that's posting all of this stuff. I have a new Kayla Miller. I didn't know Kayla Miller had a new book out. This one is actually her and someone else and the book is called Besties Work It Out and it's from the world of Click which I think is so cool like she's really found her jam. All her books are always checked out at the library so I'm, I'm proud that the series has gone on like this and that it's, it's really been well received but I'm hoping this is just a really fun friendship story and I'm excited to try it out. And then last but not least is maybe something that's a bit out of my comfort zone but I want to give it a chance just because I love the cover and I feel like maybe it could work for me. That's Unseen Magic by Emily Lloyd-Jones and this book is like the world that we are in is magical like that is legit um, but every time that you use the magic you lose a memory it says but then a visit to a tea shop goes terribly wrong Finn accidentally creates a shadow self who seems intent on destroying the town that she is in so she's trying to save the town and then last but not least let's talk about my adult fiction books and adult graphic novels we'll start with adult graphic novels i have a graphic memoir called dear sophie love sophie this is totally like a cover and pulse checkout and then i really liked the inside and the way that it looks inside this is mostly i believe things from journals and diaries that the author collected and then last but not least for graphic novels is so much for love how i survived a toxic relationship this is another graphic memoir this is by sophie lambda the art style is, is really up my alley and I feel like it's going to be very tough but I think probably very resonant book. And then I have four novels. One of them is Chemistry by Weekend Wing. I still have this checked out, still on my TBR. We'll see if it happens in June. A new one is Mercy Street by Jennifer Hay. I haven't heard that many things about this, but I think that the plot sounds interesting. It's uh, in like an abortion clinic and they keep getting like a lot of threats. And I think it's just looking into this issue through this, um, fictional setting and town. I also have the club. I haven't decided what I think about this. When I read what it's about, it doesn't really sound that interesting. I think it just sounds like a little bit too superficial for me, but it might be like a fun thriller, like something that will really be like a fun summer read. I have been reading kind of uh, some other Reese's book club books and liking them, so I'm hoping this one continues that streak. And then last but not least, I have Book Lovers by Emily Henry. I don't think I read, yeah, I didn't read People We Meet on Vacation. I still want to read that one, but I haven't picked that one up yet. I forgot that I was on hold for this and I've been waiting for a really long time, probably like since it came out. Finally, my hold arrived and I was a little bit surprised. I really liked the flap jacket description of it. It says, it would be meet cute if not for the fact that they've met many times and it's never been cute. So that is it for all of the books that I currently have checked out from the library. Um, if any of these sound interesting to you, let me know down below or if you've read any of them and have any thoughts on them, I would love to know as well. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.